What's up everybody, it's Alex, the founder and CEO at Motoroso, and in this video, we're gonna be covering all the cooling mods you should be considering for your E90-335i. Now these engines are known to run hot, especially the N54. They are made to run hot, but when you start pushing performance and tuning and adding other power adders, you definitely wanna make sure you keep things cool, especially on the air intake side of things. So we're gonna cover all the mods you ought to be considering, and for the products that we sell, you'll find links in the description. Let's go. Now the first mod we're gonna mention here is not a performance mod, but the charge pipe on this car is known to get a little bit brittle and break. And I'm not gonna go through all the different options in the industry here, but there's a couple important things to consider. You're gonna be looking at different materials, whether you're looking at aluminum or steel. Steel obviously being a more expensive material to work with, those products are gonna be more, but they are gonna be more durable, and some people prefer that as a product. Now you're also gonna be looking at different colors, and then you're gonna to need to make a decision of whether or not you're gonna stick with the diverter valve setup or if you're gonna to switch to a uh, blow-off valve. And if you go blow-off valve, you're gonna to have to make sure you get the right flange for the blow-off valve that you wanna run. And then there's two types. There's the HKS style blow-off valve, and then there's the TL Turbo Smart style blow-off valve. No real right or wrong answer to this. It just depends what sound you want from that blow-off valve, or do you wanna stick with the original design of the engine and keep a diverter valve setup. Products in this category are gonna run you between $150 and $300, and you can't really go wrong with any of them. And we'll put links to a bunch in the description. Now, the most popular brands in this industry are gonna be VRSF, Berger Motorsports, Cobb, ETS, and AFE. And keep in mind, it's gonna be a little different between the N54 and the N55. Now, when it comes to choosing a blow-off valve, your decision is primarily gonna be about what does it sound like, because there's not really a massive uh, performance difference across any of these. You know, starting with the HKS, it has kind of a higher pitch sound, and some people hate it and some people love it. It really comes down to personal preference. That one's gonna set you back around 250 bucks, and obviously it uses the HKS style flange, and it sounds like this. Next option is gonna be the TL, which shares a flange style with the Turbo Smart, and it's considered the quieter of all the options, which for people who don't love blow-off valve sounds, this might be the choice for you if you don't want it to be super loud. Also gonna set you back around 250 bucks, and it sounds like this. And the most popular of the options is the TurboSmart Gen 5 race port. Now these ones are a little more expensive at 310 to 380 bucks. They come in a bunch of different color options and they're considered to be the highest quality of all the options. And they sound like this. And of course, if you don't like the sound of blow off valves and or you just wanna stick with the original design of the engine from BMW, you can go with an aftermarket diverter valve to fix that leaky diverter valve from the factory. Turbo Smart makes a great one, sets you back around 430 bucks. Now, one of the most important modifications you can make to your N54 or N55 engine is an upgraded intercooler. This is critically important, especially on the N54, which tends to run a little bit hotter because of its twin turbo setup. In case you're not familiar with how an intercooler works and why it's important, you have to understand how that air is getting super hot and why it needs to be cooled down in the first place. And that's because your turbo gets very, very hot because it's being spun by the exhaust gases, which is basically just flames shooting out the back of the engine, and that's spinning a turbine, which is compressing the air coming through the turbo. So that hot air shoots out and then it passes through a chamber that has fins that then cool that air back down before it passes it up into the intake manifold. And if you don't cool that air down, you're gonna suffer from heat soak because that air is just too ex uh, expanded and too hot. And so the cooler the air is, the more dense in oxygen it is, the more compressible it is, and the better combustion you're gonna get. So really, really important. And the larger the intercooler is, the better it's gonna do at cooling that air down. We're gonna start with the simple options that are a five inch intercooler that are very simple to drop in and don't require any sort of modifications of the area, starting with the very popular VRSF. It's only $380 and it's gonna drop intake temps between 20 and 30 degrees. Now, if you're gonna stick with the five inch, but you want the maximum efficiency, there's a great one by ETS, set you back around $690, but it'll drop intake temps up to 50 degrees and gain you between 10 and 15 horsepower. It's known to be the most efficient five inch out there. 
Now the largest intercooler you're going to be able to fit without having to make any sort of modifications to the mounting is going to be the Mishimoto 6 inch option. It's going to set you back around $790, also capable of dropping intake temps up to 45 to 50 degrees and they claim between a 5 and 10 horsepower gain. But because of that larger vol volume, you can push your tuning a little bit further and should be able to gain potentially even more. If you're comfortable making modifications to where the intercooler mounts, then you can start moving to intercoolers that are larger than 7 inches. Starting with the VRSF, 7.5 inch intercooler, only $420, and it'll drop intake temps between 30 and 40 degrees. But if you want to go super high efficiency, you're going to need to check out the ETS 7 inch intercooler. Now that's going to be $860, it's a pretty pretty penny, but that's going to drop intake temps up to 60 degrees. That's a massive drop and can produce gains of between 15 and 20 horsepower. And the largest option that's going to be out there is going to be Cobb's 8 inch intercooler. This thing's only $500, but they do claim that it only drops the temps by up to 40 degrees. Depends how you want to run things and how you want to tune things, but all of these are going to be very valuable in dropping those intake temps and helping you produce more power and more boost. Next up on the list is going to be an upgraded cold air intake. Now this is going to be different between the M54 and the M55 and we'll cover both options, but both are going to help you hear more turbo spool so it's going to sound a little bit better and it can add up to about 10 horsepower. Now the M54 options can start pretty inexpensively at under $100 for either a Burger Motorsports or a VRSF dual cone filter. Under $100 just quickly replaces the filter and uses most of the stock housing. Now those filter options are nice and inexpensive, but we do recommend replacing the whole intake assembly. And you can get for about $470 the InGen Short Ram Twin Filter Intake, which is made out of aluminum. And this piping is not only durable, and it looks cool because you can get it in polished or black, but it's also going to give it a really nice aggressive tone, especially at wide open throttle. It's going to give it a nice bark. For a little over $500, you can start to look at the options from AFE Power. Now, they offer the Magnum Force, which is an open filter style um, that's going to have a heat shield to protect from heat coming up from the engine bay, and it's going to flow a lot of air really quickly. But then there's also the Momentum GT style, which is an enclosed air box that has a little window for being able to look through into the filter to see how clean or dirty it is. And that really helps prevent pulling the hot air from inside the engine bay and helps maximize bringing in cold air. Now, both of these options at the same price feature roto molded plastic that is meant to flow air as quickly and smoothly down into the intake. And if you've got a big credit card limit and you can afford $1,300, you can pull in the Dynan Carbon Fiber Intake, which features a Canon air filter. It's going to perform great, but more importantly, it's going to look spectacular. Now moving on to your options for your N55 applications, you'll notice that the intakes are a different format altogether, so they are quite different. Now Burger Motorsports, again, with the most cost-effective option, at only $220, just replaces that filter and flows more air, gaining you about 10 horsepower. But for $440, you can move on up to the engine, which is, again, made of all aluminum tubing. It's going to give it a nice intake sound, and of course, it's going to flow more air and be much more durable than the plastic tubing that you'd find on that stock assembly. And AFE Power comes to market with two options for the M55 engine as well, both the Momentum GT and the Magnum Force. The Magnum Force being a little under $500 and being the open filter, and then the Momentum GT being the enclosed airbox, setting back a little over $500. Now, Dynan also makes a carbon fiber application for the N55. Now, it doesn't feature that big, beautiful pile of carbon fiber that you get on the M54 option, but it is under $500. At only $480, it's the only option that gives you a carbon fiber tube and looks pretty slick at the front of the engine bay. Now, before we get into anything else, we wanted to remind you just how much we think water methanol is a good idea, and we mentioned it in our must-have video, so let's review that one more time. A simple kit's available from Burger Motorsports, again, for around $450, you can get either a one or a two gallon tank, and it integrates nicely with their JB4. For around $550, you can get the Snow Performance Kit, and Snow Performance is a leader in water methanol injection, it's really what they specialize in, and that's a very simple kit that comes with a nice seven color LED display control unit. But if you really want to go up to the pinnacle of water methanol, we recommend the Direct Port Injection Kit from Snow Performance. Now this is going to set you back around $1,250. $50, but this includes a CNC machine direct port injection plate that you mount directly onto the head and that shoots that water methanol right into the source, maximizing the performance gains that you can get, making it the most efficient water methanol system available. 
Now, some of the E90s came with an oil cooler, but if you don't have an oil cooler and you plan on running the car hard, tuning to get aggressively, driving on the street hard, taking it to the racetrack, you're gonna wanna try and keep your oil temps down. And this is an inexpensive uh, modification comparatively to the benefit that you can gain by keeping low oil temps. Mishimoto makes a universal option for only $400, and Evolution Raceworks has a kit for $800. These are gonna be a great way of keeping those oil temps manageable. And our last mod on this list is not necessarily a cooling mod, but we thought it belonged here because we were talking so much about intakes, and that is the oil catch can. Now, on boosted applications, you can get a problem of blow-by, and that's engine that that's oil that's passing through the piston rings is going to end up ultimately going back into the intake, and that is not good overall. So an oil catch can helps catch that oil before it goes back into the intake. And Burger Motorsports and Mishimoto both make options for the M54 and the M55 that range only between $180 and $220. This is an inexpensive way to get cheap insurance and keeping the engine running clean. And we'll of course put links to those in the description. Now, if you've learned all you need to know about cooling, you want to head over and learn more about exhaust options and modifications for your E90, head on over to our dedicated deep dive exhaust video. And of course, we put links to all the products we talked about in this video in the description on this video. And you can always reach us on live chat or at 1833 Motoroso. Thanks for watching.